Alright, what's going on guys? This is Maury, Pat, Mark, and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Uh, back at you with another review. This is another one from Cascade Brewing out of Oregon, uh, Portland, Oregon actually. This is their Figaro, which is a blend of blonde sour ales. They age it in Chardonnay wine barrels uh, for 18 months, and then they age it for an additional five months in oak barrels with white figs and lemon peel. Wow. Mm. I'm getting very strong like apricot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's like a, almost a tropical fruit. It is sour. <laughs> tangy, really, yeah. you know, it's a really like tart, uh, tart and tangy aroma. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting the apricot. I'm getting, you know, some of those, yeah, mild fruits. Uh, you know, I'm definitely getting a bite from the uh, Britannomyces. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting a kind of some Venus notes like white grapes, and I can I'm that. getting that Chardonnay character yep, actually awesome. more than the fruit personally. I'm well, also getting lemon. I'm getting the lemon. There's citrus for sure. sure, yeah, and, and just even just a sugar aroma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get in yes. some tastage here. Cheers. 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 Wow, mm. that is great. Nice bite of sour up bite, front, yeah. and then it rolls right into the lemon peel for me. And then I get some those Venus notes, you know, white grape, Chardonnay wine, and then for me the lemon peel kind of makes a second appearance at the end on the oh, finish. It's definitely there. Yeah. You, you definitely get the sour up front. Yeah. And then you get this nice like mellow sweetness in the mid taste, and then the sourness comes right back again at the end. Yeah. I'm getting more, I'm getting like a sour orange as well and a little mm -hmm. bit of more of that apricot that we were getting on the yeah. aroma. Yeah, it's real dry finish too. White mm -hmm. finish is nice. Yeah, it's like a good dry white wine finish. Really I mean, dry finish. I'm actually getting a little kiss of alcohol. On the taste. On yeah. the taste. Right. I'm not getting a ton. I'll no, be honest, I just almost felt like I was going to get a little bit. Just more. a little smooch mm -hmm. on the cheek. I mean, right, more yeah. than a normal sour, like you know, maybe a 6 or 7 mm -hmm. percent or, you know, this... Yeah, the 10% the is hidden. But it's not, yeah, it is hidden because it's not, like, it's not taking away from the other flavors at no. all. Alright, so for a score on the Figaro from Cascade Brewing, I am going to go with a 4.25 out of 5. I think this is an excellent sour. It's definitely a different sour. I mean, typically I like those... Flanders Red Styles, you know, it's just one of my favorite styles of beer overall. But this is really good. I, I'm sometimes a little hesitant to try the blonde sours, but this one might be changing my mind. I love the lemon zest in it, and I love the Chardonnay characters. So, um, you know, carbonation to me, it is a touch fizzy if I had to be critical on it, but uh, it, it's definitely a really top notch, and you know I've really never had a bad one from Cascade mm -hmm. yet, so yeah. going four point two five. Okay, um, I'm going to agree four point two five. Um, well, it's a nice dry finish, real drinkable beer. Um, sourness, tartness of it, and a little bit of the citrus, a little bit of everything. It's kind of a complex sour. It is. Um, I'll give it a four point two five. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a four and a half out of five. I'm really enjoying this beer. This is probably one of my favorite sours that we've had nice. so far. Yeah. Um, especially this, the citrusy characteristics, the apricot flavor, I even though I know there's none in it, <laughs> you know. And the way, you know, in the long run I'm drinking this, at, at first the sour was really aggressive up front and it kind of made it hard to drink real quickly. But the more I'm drinking it, the more drinkable it's becoming and I'm finding myself really enjoying this beer. So four and a half out of five. All right, yeah, I agree with a lot of the points that all three of you guys made. Uh, as much as I am getting the lemon, which I am, I'm also getting an apricot, orange, kumquat, those orange fruits type of a deal off this. It's sour, but it's not too sour. I find it pretty drinkable. I'm also going to give it a 4.25. I was going back and forth, mm -hmm. but uh, there's a couple sours that I've rated at 4.5 that I like just a little better than this one, but this one's really awesome. Alcohol's well, well hidden for sure. 
great beer for Sour Saturday. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.